Well, I mean, we, we, we knew last year that Bobby was retiring. We also knew that you know, we're never going to replace Bobby Cox because you're not going to find another Bobby Cox. But we feel really good about Freddie Gonzalez. We think he's up and coming, a young guy that, you know, he's got three years of managerial experience, and we think he has a lot of the qualities that Bobby had as a young manager, and we think he can be one of the outstanding managers in the game. And uh, uh, we're thrilled to have him. So will it change the approach of the game? You know, I think that's hard to say. Freddie's been asked that question a lot. Uh, I think one of his characteristics as a manager, he's very aggressive on the base pass, but that's also dictated by your personnel, who you have on your team. So uh, if we have a team that will allow him to run, I think you'll see Freddie put the runners in motion a lot. Since you acquired Dan of your braver, your braver at second base, and what did you see in him, and how would he help you? Well, Dan Ugla was our big acquisition this winter, and the reason we were so uh, aggressive to go after him is it's hard to find right-handed power. And Dan's a guy that hits 30 home runs a year from the right side and really fits perfectly in the middle of our lineup. And so uh, when we had the opportunity in November to acquire him from the Marlins, we felt it was the big piece we needed to uh, propel us into next season. And uh, who should we look for in spring training as the player on the rise? Well, it, you know, we've, we've had a good young team the last couple of years with, you know, two years ago it was Jordan Schaefer, last year it was Jason Hayward. Uh, this year the young player to watch is Freddie Freeman. He'll be our first baseman. He's a rookie and uh, we got a chance to watch him a little bit in September last year and, and I think he's primed to have a, a breakout season. There you go. Thank you.